So we're like 10 seconds out of the jaws of certain death. Well, certain, I mean, that's relative. And this meatball. Meatball? This meatball pulls a ring out of God knows where. Yeah, where did you hide the ring? A lady never tells. Well, needless to say, this lady was impressed. <laughs> well played there, man, no? Wasn't Conrad gonna get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. Oh, we found a bullet lodged in the plane. Huh. I left it below deck if you want to check it out. Isn't that a no-no? So, how does it feel to soon be known as the Mrs. Julia Smith? It does have a nice ring. Yeah, let's do Honestly, that. Honestly, I wasn't sure how it would feel, but now that I hear it, it does have a nice ring. So, I guess we should talk about wedding plans, eventually. Let's plan it together. Dad can fit the bill. What would she say? Oh, let's go here. I'm sure my dad will want to spare no expense. Great. What? If your dad pulls out all the stops and we have the wedding of the century, people are gonna think I married you for your money. No, oh, I was hoping they'd think you married me for my hot bot. Julia. Money is not a big deal. Trouble, it clearly bothers you. Yeah, I think she would say that. Trouble, yeah, let's go Alex, trouble. Alex, the money thing really doesn't bother me, but it clearly bothers you, and that's a problem for me. What does that mean? Should I do something? That wasn't the right choice. Talk about it when we get home. Hopeful. Maybe it'll work out. Yeah, let's do that. Honestly, I don't know. But we're here, you know? And we made this commitment, so let's just be here, in the moment. And maybe it'll work out? In the moment? Yeah. Sure. All right. I can't deal with this right now. Alex. Where's my brother? I, I don't know. Oh, you've been saying that a lot. Just stop. Let me go find him. Yeah, that didn't go the way hey, I expected. you see my brother? Or Fliss? Uh, no, I uh, got distracted. Let's go get him. Sure. So, which one is, uh, you know, where the magic happens? Give it a rest, apologize for my brother. What's your problem? Give it a rest already. Okay, that's enough of that. Conrad, beers, where are they? Oh yeah, the beers. I was just getting them now. All right. Now that everybody's here, let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey. So, how's it feel to be a man post-proposal? Relieving, honestly. I've been carrying that around for a while. What did she find here? What is this? Oh, a camera. I wanted it to be memorable. Can we do anything else with it? No. Nope. There. Okay. Next. Never thought you were the settling type. Proud of you, bro. I couldn't have done it without such a good bro, bro. Bro. Wait. What do you mean? You told me to follow my heart. Uh, one, Air one rescue service, two, Cohen Island. Still, we're over the top, bro. So, we're going again tomorrow? You got the nap pad, Dive Master J? Oh, no, not yet. Uh, yeah. It seemed a little too dangerous for my blood. That's funny. I'll go down with you and we'll be fine. Uh, I'm gonna go find Julia. Hey, almost time for barbecuing. Got the pad yet? Sorry, I got distracted. No worries. Let's go get it. Got it. Let's go up. 
Oh yeah, that's what we tried to catch. Wait, can we talk about what just happened? Later, Alex, okay? Okay. Right here. Damn, how much beer do they have? Hey, well there, sailor. Um, excuse me? Careful. If you did decompress too fast, then you should go easy on the beer. Uh, Alex, I'm fine. I think if I got the bends, I would know by now. Not always. Sometimes the bends can be super delayed. It could be hours or a day or two. The bends? Yeah, it's uh, when you come up from a dive too fast. Oh, 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 yeah, uh, uh, decompression sickness. <laughs> Nerd. Little nitrogen bubbles that get stuck in your bloodstream. Hurts like a bitch. It's really serious. Divers get sick and die from decompression sickness every year. And that is why the good Dr. Conrad says drink them if you got them, because either you're fine or you're going to want a little something to ease the pain. Julia, I'm telling you not to drink any alcohol right now. Oh, come on. Telling you? Take orders from this guy? Just drink a beer. Oh, I don't like him. Better stick to H2O. Beer o'clock. I think that's kind of her attitude, don't you? All right, everyone. Check it out. Manchurian gold. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? So what do you think, Captain? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination? You think we could get there by tomorrow? It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. Wow. You find anything else? This plane must have been shot down because it was riddled with bullet holes. I found one lodged in the fuselage. Huh. And it was full of life rafts. Must have gotten shot down before they could deliver all the rafts. There was only one missing. Wreck this. All of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the law. No, hey. They were respectful. No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. No, that's her attitude. Oh, come on. No one knows we've even been down there. And I don't think ghosts can talk. You Americans are all the same, huh? No respect for anyone else's traditions. You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Fred, you got a fun ghost story, right? Y yeah, I heard a story. It happened right around here, too. Let's hear it. We could all use a good show. Oh, let's... let's hear it. I bet you can spin a good yarn. It's kind of messed up, actually. Scare away, little bro. Okay, here goes. This story is true. It had happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait, true story? Where'd you hear this? Ah, well, down by the dockside, I found an ancient old man, skin like a leather book, eye patch, wooden leg, the whole nine yards, and for a dollar, he told me his secrets. Okay, here we go. The lighthouse stood atop an atoll, isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks, where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. Smooth. He of the one-track mind. The woman answers. I live here, in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twist. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical, and his sister parents are upstairs. So, they go to the top of the lighthouse, and there, Splayed down on the floor is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an axe. Always an axe? I mean, do people even use axes anymore? I'm just reporting the facts, cliches and all. Chopped up into little tiny giblets with an axe.
so gross. Okay, so who did it? So the woman, uh, she's still hysterical, says her husband did it. And he's still here in the closet. Ha, <laughs> the husband, eh? In the closet. So is this a warning to all future brides? Hey, no backseats. You're locked in. So the lighthouse keeper creeps over to the closet, opens the door, and sure enough, there's a man inside. But he's cut his own throat. Horrified, he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer, closer. And he sees it's his own face. And then its eyes bulge out and screams. <laughs> Oh, so gross. Super twist. Nice. <laughs> okay, that was cool. Nice one, Squire. Wasn't scary. Cool story. Yeah. You have me going. Pretty cool. Heavy on the cheese there, corn dog. Okay, you've all had your fun. We should all turn in. There's some weather hitting our way. Uh-uh. No, no, no. No, because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required one more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are these? <laughs> uh, it's standard issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh-huh. <laughs> Where'd you read that? The internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, ma'am. <laughs> I'm into this website. <laughs> and four good buddy. And I'm out. Well, that don't look good. I don't think I could go to sleep on a boat out in the middle of the ocean, especially a small boat like that. Uh-oh. Maybe a large boat, but not a little tiny one like that. In a storm? No. fast enough. <gasps> Old man reflexes, got him again. Mm. It's free from the boat, isn't it? We're gonna ungag her. on her leg. She did that under the water, didn't she? Okay. I think so. Uh. 
Hey, so, uh, good news, bad news. Bad news? I don't see how this could get any worse. The bad news is these are kind of maybe the fishermen I pissed off earlier. Oh, God damn it, Conrad. Great, just great. And the good news? Uh, I recognize them. How was that good news? I thought you were gonna ask the good news first. You're such an idiot, Jesus. Hey. Alex, what are they gonna do to us? I don't even wanna know. I wanna get out of here. We're in a lot of danger. We're gonna Guys, untie. We gotta get untied. Like now. Yeah, that's the one. Get untied. <laughs> You don't want to What's investigate up? with your hands tied. Uh, oh, shit! Ah! Fuck out! Ah. I'll be back for you later. Uh. Conrad! Nobody knows you're out here, little lady. You're all alone with us now. Let's make the most of it. You can go fuck yourself, you piece of shit. You're the little lady. You know how to treat a lady? What do you want? Flip it. Oh, yeah. You know how to treat a lady, right? Slow down. Easy. Nah, he's gonna say fuck you. Fuck you! I'm gonna kill you! We'll finish with him later. Dick. Shut the fuck up. I don't think they're gonna hit her. They haven't hit Fliss. Fliss sure seems to be getting buddy buddy with him. Uh, did you see my brother? Yeah. He's hiding. He's okay. All right. Turn around. your hands. Once we get Julia back, maybe we could take him by surprise. Not okay. with my reflexes, you're not going to. Alex, I'm so sorry. What? 
What is it? They took my ring. <sighs> Julia, it's okay. It's okay. Scissors would make a nice little weapon. Now we just have to wait and see what they want to do with us. Maybe we can take it. Yeah. Yeah, it's a speedboat. The main guy here, he's got a gun. If we play our cards right, we can catch him by surprise. Take him out. We could just rush him. I can, let's try sneaking around. If you can distract them, I can sneak around to the speedboat. The dude with the gun won't even realize until I'm long gone. Seven seconds. I can get out through the window. We gotta break these off first. Too loud. They'll hear it. But we're gonna break them during the thunder. <sighs> Good call. I'll go through the window and get the boat. You guys, distract them. Conrad, just stay focused and get to the boat. Okay, let's do it. Yeah, they're all gonna die. Reflexes are so bad. You're pretty stupid. Conrad! Bring them downstairs. Take this. Use it if you have to. Sit down. Over there. You, right here. Sit. Now. Arrêtez, bande de con! C'est mon bateau! Stop! Ferme-la, ou je te mets mon poing dans la gueule! Which one of you is gonna tell me about this Manchurian goo? gotten the boat back and you blew it. Yeah, I get it. All right, shut the fuck up! <laughs> oh, give me a break with that gangster shit. I don't think you fully comprehend the severity of your situation, sister. I'm just gonna say it. Fliss has gotta be in on this. She and these guys, they travel in the same waters. She's the captain, and they barely laid a hand on her? I bet you told them about the Manchurian gold. 
They're in cahoots. Are you out of your mind? How did you come up with this bullshit? How fucking dare you, you overprivileged asshole? You're all in this together. This is a trap, and you set us that up. That asshole. Put a cork in it. Damn it. Sit still, all of you. You, come with me. Find out how long the storm is gonna last. Will you try anything? Anything fish you. And there'll be consequences. Get it. Duke of Milan requesting weather update. Over. Duke, we read you. Everything okay? Over. Hey, uh, just requesting any information about this storm you can give us? It's a little bit hairy out here. Over. Big storm coming in from the east. Gonna hit you pretty hard, but should pass through your coordinates within an hour. You sound a little stressed, Duke. Please let me know if you need assistance. Not used to a little weather freaking you out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. A-OK -okay out here. We can handle a couple puffs and drops of rain. Uh, thanks for the info. We'll see you for drinks back on shore in a couple of days. Do it, friend. My reflections are not fast you enough. Get that, don't you? Optimistic, he could help. Okay, keep a lid on it. It could be our ticket out. Brad stays hidden. Better off down there than with these psychos. Oh, yeah, great. He could get killed down there. Brad's a big boy. He'll be okay. And it's probably better for us if he stays put for now. Everyone's still alive. Things could have been quite different. <sighs> Kind-hearted creature I am, I'd like to offer you some forewarning of what's to come. Tempted? 
Can you do something about my um, <laughs> my reflexes? <laughs> okay, then. We will turn to the Bard for inspiration. The Merchant of Venice, Act 2, Scene 7. The Prince of Morocco pulls a scroll from the eye of a skull and reads, All that glisters is not gold. Often have you heard that told. Anyway, now that you've reached a point of significant distress, I presume you're eager to get back to your story. But here's a thing. Everything may not be entirely as it seems. <sighs> Probably shouldn't have said that. 